Today, we're going to be balancing C5H10O2 plus oxygen gas, so O2, and those will produce or yield carbon dioxide, CO2, plus water, H2O. So I already wrote out our chart and all the elements that I see on opposite sides of the equation. All we have to do is just write down how many we have. So in this case, I see that I have five total carbons, right? There's a five subscript, so I have five. I have 10 hydrogens, so I'm going to put a 10 here. And now just be careful, guys. I have oxygen on this compound and in the O2, so I have to add them together. So in this case, I have two oxygens plus two oxygens, so that's a total of four, right? Two plus two is four, so I have four. On my product side, I only have one carbon, so I'll put a one here. I have two hydrogens, right? So I'll put a two here. And then for the oxygens, just be careful, just like before, I have an oxygen here and an oxygen over here. So I have to add them. Literally, there's an addition sign here. So I have two oxygens plus one oxygen. So two plus one is a total of three. Let's balance the ones that are easy to balance. Let's start with the carbon. You're always going to take the lower number and try to turn it into the higher number by multiplication. One times what will get me to five? Oh, one times five, right? And that number is going to be the big uh, coefficient value that you place in front of that compound. So in this case, I'm adding five, so I'm going to put a five here. But you got to be fair. Whatever number you put in front gets distributed to all of the elements in that compound. So I have five carbons, but now look at the total oxygens. Remember, there's oxygen here and here on the product side. So five times two is 10 plus one lonely oxygen here. So five times two is 10 plus one is a total of 11 oxygens. Okay, the carbons are balanced. Let's try to balance out the hydrogens now. So I have 10 hydrogens on my left side. I have two. So two times what will get me to 10? Two times five. And that number is going to be the number that you put as a coefficient in front of the element that has the hydrogen. So two times five, just like we said. But it's a compound, so it has to get distributed to everybody. So I have five times two, that's a total of 10 for the hydrogen. But now be careful with the oxygen again. There's oxygen on both sides. So I have the 10 here, right, five times two, plus five, right, times one is five. So 10 plus five is 15. Okay, the carbons are balanced and the hydrogen's balanced. However, this is not a pretty number, right? There's nothing that I can multiply by four to get to 15 easily. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use algebra. Now, I don't want to change any numbers here, so I, I'm not going to put a coefficient here because then that would mess up the carbons and the hydrogens. I know that I have to add a coefficient here, but what is it? I don't know. I'm going to label it as x, right? Now we just write an equation. Think of the yield sign as an equal sign. You had oxygen here plus oxygen here, and that will equal the total number of oxygen on the right-hand side. So I have two oxygen, right? Two plus, I'm trying to put a number here, and it's being multiplied by two. So it would be two X, and that would equal, because that's the yield sign, the total number of oxygen is 15. So it's gonna equal 15. I'm just gonna solve for the x value. Just doing simple algebra, minus by two, you get two x equals 13, divide by two, divide by two, you get x equals 13 over two. That's the number that is going to be placed over here. So instead of the x value, I now have 13 over two. But here is the catch, guys. Whenever you finished with the fraction, Mm -mm. You have to turn the fraction into a whole number, and it's pretty easy to do that. 
whatever the denominator is, in this case it's a 2, that's what you're going to multiply the entire equation by. So, since this denominator is 2, I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 2. And maybe I'll put that in black. So, that means whatever the coefficient is in the front will have to be multiplied by 2. There are four total coefficients, right? There's nothing here, but remember, that's a secret 1. So, 1 times 2 is 2. So I'm going to put a 2 here. 13 over 2 times 2, the reason why we chose 2 is because those will cancel out. So 13 over 2 times 2 is now just 13. 2 times 5 is now a total of 10. I'm going to put a 10 here. And then 2 times 5 again is a total of 10. So I'm just going to put a 10 here. And now everything is balanced. And that's your final answer, all right? So in this case, we balance the equation. We now have two C5H10O2s plus 13O2s, which will produce our yield 10 CO2s and 10 H2Os. I really hope this video has helped you out with balancing this equation. If it did, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. We thank you so much for that. And let's keep rocking and rolling. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.